Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Planet Becky and welcome to the basic build series. Up today is the African elephant and I'm so excited for this. You guys, thank you so much for all of your comments and feedback on the previous videos in this series. I'm so excited to do this series. Um, it's actually made me sit down and really look at how to build. Um, one of the comments on a previous video was, could you do a longer voiceover? Um, and I really appreciate um, that comment. And I actually took that comment away and I did a quick poll on YouTube and a quick poll on Twitter. Make sure you definitely follow me on any other social medias because I do post them there as well. But I ran a poll asking people what they thought I should do for these YouTube videos, whether people prefer speed builds with just music, uh, like the previous videos were, or if they would prefer them with longer voiceovers. And actually the main feedback that I got was longer voiceovers, which I was kind of shocked at. Um, I thought most people would enjoy just some sort of form of music, but that is completely fine. So we're going to try longer voiceovers for the next couple of episodes really um so i am actually filming all episodes the beginning of december it is right now it's the 6th of december and i am i am filming and editing and doing all of these voiceovers um for the rest of december over the next the course of the next like couple of days or so and that is because we are myself my partner and my partner's family we're all going away um which i'm so excited for we are going to central america we're going to guatemala for christmas this year so these videos are helping me learn how to do youtube but also over the christmas period they are also replacing my streams don't forget to go and follow me over on Twitch, where in the new year, I will be back. But for now, these videos are replacing any streams, simply because I'm not here at the moment. Um, I, yeah, I'm really grateful for all the feedback that you guys have given me for this series. It's actually been really, really valuable to know what people are enjoying about it. I've gotten some really good feedback over the last like couple of the last two episodes. So I'm really grateful for anyone that has commented or anything like that. Don't forget to comment down below what animal you are the most excited for. Okay, so let's jump into the African elephants. This animal is my favorite animal in the whole of the, the planet sea. Um, elephants are my favourite animal of all time. And I kind of wanted to base this build a little bit off of one of my favourite zoos, which actually has um, elephants in, I think they are actually African elephants as well at the zoo. Um, and that is Howlett Zoo um, in, I think it's in Canterbury in the south of the UK. If you guys have never seen Howlett Zoo, I would s severely suggest going looking up. But they have a humongous elephant enclosure and it is so cool there. Um, and they have basically this whole area for elephants, but where the elephants sleep in one area and then they kind of get guided out to the bigger paddocks. And they actually have, I believe it's three different paddocks. Um, and at certain points during the day, like the keepers will open up certain different um, paddocks. So they'll have like the sleeping paddocks where they bring all of the elephants back into at night time. They have like a feeding pa paddock. And so it also means then that the keepers can like close off certain bits of the paddock so they can muck that out and clean it up and put new um, enrichment things in there and all the food and things like that. And then they open it up and the elephants come in. It's really, really cool to watch. It's also really cool to watch the keepers interact with the elephants there because they have such good, um, I don't know how to say it. Like they're almost like buddies. Like the, the elephants know the keepers very, very well. And the last time we were there, there was, um, Kind of, maybe she, the little baby elephant was maybe like two 
I want to say she was, or he was, I'm not sure if it was a girl or a boy, um, but it was a really cute elephant and it was just chilling out with the um, matriarchs of the elephant pack. I don't know if it's called a pack, I don't know what it's called. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and But also it was interacting a lot with the keeper and I really wish that we could have that sort of thing in game where we could do more interactions with the animals because often the animals do know the keepers really well. So I kind of wanted to do that as sort of a build for this enclosure. I wanted that kind of idea where they would come out of the housing bit, walk through like a section and I try and recreate that as much as I could. I also really wanted, as I'm building right now, I really wanted to include like a little water feature um, I feel like all of my water features kind of look like this, where they're just a pile of rocks with some water coming out of. Um, which I don't think looks bad, but I think maybe in the future it would be cool if I could improve how I do that. Um, because I feel like they kind of always look the same. So there you can see their little walkout bit. Um, and I think it looks really, really cool. Um, and when you see the end video of this later, you'll be like, Oh wow, the elephants actually use that, that looks really cool. Um, but yeah, so one thing that I wanted to try and do as part of this build was do this as like a custom, as, mu as much custom stuff as I physically could. And I really, really love the idea of doing custom fences. Um, going like all the way around um, the enclosure. I really like how that kind of works um yeah I just think it looks so so much better than some of the normal fences I obviously had to check here that they wouldn't escape because that is that is a concern um one thing I am really learning with this game is the paths I am realising very quickly whilst doing these builds that I kind of stick to the same thing in terms of the paths um, and that might just be something that I need to improve on later. I would really like to, I've seen some people's builds where they are, I, I, I don't I, I don't understand how, how people build it and I would really like to learn how, how to build it where the people have a higher a viewing platform on the outside of the enclosure but it doesn't seem unnatural kind of like how this one's just like floating in the air it seems like it's part of the ground um so i think that is something that i would really like to improve on for the future something that took me a while in this build was this fence it did take absolutely ages and even though you can see here, I'm kind of going outside the boundaries a little bit, that's not necessarily an issue because we can just extend it. And you know, the more elephants that are born and stuff, the more the space that we'll need. And I kind of didn't want to have to extend that later on. Um, so yeah, so we built this on stream and it was really fun building this on stream and I will build some more of these um, on stream in the future um, because it's so much more fun building this when you are actually able to speak to people whilst building um, yeah I definitely love streaming this game because I feel like I also get like instant feedback from people being like hey what if you do this or what do you do that so if you are wanting to like really interact with this series come and join the streams uh, I normally stream every Tuesday evening and Sunday afternoon slash evening um, so yeah okay so one part of this series I thought it'd be really fun to do if I'm gonna be doing these longer voiceovers I thought it'd be really fun to do a lot of fun fact with Becky um, so I looked up some African elephant fun facts for us to learn about African elephants together. So here's my first. Did you know? So did you know that elephants recognise themselves in a mirror? 
some few animals are known to do this um i would just, i think it'd be really cool if we could get mirrors in this game i've actually seen i know we've got like the hanging mirror thing but obviously the bigger animals can't really interact with that but i have seen that before in some zoos where they have like mirrors and things like that and they're able to like see see themselves and it's really interesting to watch that so i think that'd be a really cool addition to the game anyway back to the build we'll do another did you know later this is our little in inside enclosure section and i just think it looks so great um yeah i really wanted like a place where the animals could come in and chill out and just be hidden away because that's where they often are in the zoos as well like their internal enclosure is often quite hidden okay so for plants i am very much a sporadic place of plants i don't really think too much about it i just kind of choose and place um there isn't much design choicing in in my building but i obviously do want to try and keep all of these basic builds within the kind of coverage and all of those things i kind of do place them just a little bit sporadically but i also try and think about where things would normally be placed and where some zoos might place certain types of plants so yeah it's one of those things where i am just looking at the zoos and how they will build things out and then kind of go from there so one of the one one of the things one of the one one of the things that i really wanted to include in this was lots of enrichment activities because that is something that you often see in the zoos is they have loads and loads of different kind of enrichment activities for the animals um and then i decided at this point i really wanted to add in kind of like an extra viewing point so i moved these like um what are they called the star facilities out and about um and i decided that i wanted to put in like a bit of a viewing point and this is where once again i really struggled with the paths um no matter how many times i have like played this game like how many years i have played this game for i think i will always struggle with with paths in this game um i think it's just destined to be one of those things and like no matter how many tutorials i watch so one of the viewers actually suggested placing in some one-way glass and i was like that is something i've never heard of and apparently it was in one of i think it was in one of the updates i don't think they've been there the whole time um correct me if i'm wrong i don't think they have uh, but i actually thought that was a really cool idea to do this like one-way glass idea because then the people can see in but the elephants can't necessarily see you and i was like that's a really cool idea um so yeah i really wanted to like have a better viewing platform um i know that we've got one out in the like paddock area if you would call it um where they are for most of the time during the day um so yeah i always put these trims on the buildings because i think they look really weird if you don't I don't know if anyone else agrees with me on that. I just think they look really weird if you don't put them on. I think if the roof ends at the same point as the walls, I don't know why, but it looks really weird. Um, so, yeah. So, I really love these um, front pieces. I think they're really cool and really neat. And you will often see this at the... Um, at zoos where they'll like kind of 
have signs and things like that and I thought that was kind of like a really cool sign to have on there um, and once again there is that little bit where they can come out and I kind of I want to get better at like this whole like decoration thing and so one thing I saw here and I was like this is so cool because every zoo that I go to they have the names of all of the like animals that are in the zoo especially at Howlett's at Howlett's they have like this board near one of like the viewing platforms and it has like a picture a, like a recent picture as well of each of the animals and it also has a their names and some information about them so like it will tell you like who the matriarch is and stuff like that because elephants are a matriarchal uh, like pack I don't know what an elephant pack is called um they are run by matriarchs they're not like a male orientated um species like a lot of other animals are they are matriarchs uh they run the 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 pack i'm gonna call it a pack even though i don't think that's what it's actually called um so yeah and i really like this idea where we could just bring in a little bit of extra light and stuff like that um i then realized that i didn't actually place them very well at all um but yeah so this is pretty much it you guys i just added in a little bit of lighting and i'm really really happy with the way that this turned out even though there's quite a lot of like open and empty space often when you go to these zoos and see their like certain animals like enclosures they often will have these like big empty spaces especially with elephants the one at howlett's has, has like a massive field that doesn't have anything in um i really like doing the lights like this let me know if there's like a better way to do this because i always think it looks just like a tiny little bit weird but um i really like having like the ambient lighting i guess it's called um in certain areas um i know that they don't necessarily need lighting but yeah so guys i was really happy with how this turned out and here is a few minutes of cinematics so guys don't forget to like and subscribe let me know in the comments what you think i could have done better what you think of this build and if you enjoyed this fuller voiceover for this video friends thank you so much don't forget to follow me on other social medias as well i'm on instagram and twitter and don't forget to follow me on twitch where we stream every sunday and tuesday and friends thank you so much bye